Well, howdy, neighbor. Who's your hero? Is it Mr. Rogers, even though he's passed away? Is it a basketball player? Is it some kind of athlete? Is it a superhero like Spider-Man? Or Superman? Or the Hulk, even though he's got a nasty temper? Don't make him mad. He'll turn green and get huge. See, we got this deep, deep desire for a hero to rescue us. We want somebody who can do stuff that we can't do to come through in a pinch. You know, the athletes, they kind of blow it because they can do stuff that we can't do. But, you know, they come through in a pinch. I mean, they help entertain us. And, you know, I cr I've cried when the Mariners lost, which, you know, I've cried a lot because they lose a lot. But seriously, do they change your life? They might entertain you. They may even give you hope, but it's all temporary. We're looking at a series on the ultimate hero, Jesus Christ. Yesterday at church, we talked about the fact that he is the king. And his triumphal entry was that he was coming in to defeat sin and death once and for all. He died on the cross. And this next upcoming week, we're looking at the fact that he rose from the dead. He is the Savior. And he is the Lord. So just like you've heard multiple times on Live It Out, we're asking you, where have you placed your worship? Who's your hero? Who's your king? Is it you? Is it somebody else? Or is it Jesus Christ? I mean, don't get me wrong. I think people are great. They're made in the image of God. But they're not to be worshiped. They're not to be followed. And they are not the king. So this week, as we consider the fact that Jesus Christ died, Good Friday, it was good for us. It was terrible for him. Separation from his father abandonment by his friends, all that horrific pain that he went through. He is the king. He is the savior and he is the Lord. He's the greatest hero ever and he's real. No more fake heroes. Jesus only. God bless you. Love God, love others, and serve generously. Happy Easter. Jesus is risen.